Hey, what's up guys? Dr. D here from One Hive Invicta, bringing you a war recap from our recent potluck spin with where we matched Clash United. Uh, there are the war statistics. As you can see, uh, we were able to put up uh, 20 uh, triples. Uh, they beat us, beat us out with 23 triples, despite the fact that um, we actually had one more Town Hall 10. Uh, of course, I like to say that they then had the Town Hall 9 advantage, but in truth, we all know that uh, it's, it's not much of an advantage. So props to those guys. They did a great job over there. Real quick, just want to acknowledge our six-star warriors. Justin had his first war in Invicta. Uh, he was a co with me over at Swarm. He put up a uh, six-pack. Uh, Messi, or Rocky as we call him, had a six-pack. Uh, Jamie had a six-pack, um, PH, Paragon Hunter, uh, had a six-pack, uh, with the drags, we'll watch one of his attacks today, and, uh, HB with a six-pack. Okay, without further ado, let's get into the war attacks. So, here are the, um, war bases, uh, you can see that, uh, we had, I mean, they, they were able to two-star all of our 11s, um, they went seven for eight on uh, Town Hall 11 um, versus Town Hall 10 triples, and that was really the difference. I mean, um, right now, this uh, clan wars, at least these um, high-level elite clan wars, are won uh, based on Town Hall 10 triples, and, and a lot of people are adjusting. I don't think that their 11s even tried a single uh, triple on... Uh, or even tried a single attack on a Town Hall 11. Um, our, our Town Hall 11s were all two-starred by their 10s, and then they um, invested their Town Hall 11 attacks on our 10s. Very smart. Uh, we, unfortunately, did not have the same um, outcome, and that's why you see 20 triples for them, 23, or 20 triples for us, 23 triples for them. But, um, you know, keeping with that theme, I want to talk a little bit about... Um, getting those doubles uh, from a, the two-star attacks from uh, Town Hall 10s on Town Hall 11s. Because if your 10s are able to get two stars on all of the 11s, given how rare it is to triple a Town Hall 11, it's a very good war strategy right now. So we're going to watch an attack by Team Unique. Who had a, he's a Town Hall 10, 67% um, on uh, Chat, who's uh, the leader over there of, of Powercock, of, Power, of PC, uh, and an old 2.0 member, a really solid guy. Uh, so, um, the goal here, as you can see, is TU is going to be bringing some drags. He's got seven, seven dragons down there, um, eight wall breakers, uh, nothing but rages and poisons. The goal is to break in here, get one of those air defenses, two if possible, but at least one, and then get the um, Inferno Tower. And so... There's your distance on that Inferno Tower. We're going to speed this up just a little bit here. This queen starts doing a lot of work. She eventually catches that Inferno Tower, saves the ability, and then pops it just to get the Inferno. Um, does get the queen then, and already has used two of those rages just to keep that queen up and alive. Uh, she's going to beat through this wall. He has no intention of dropping the wall breakers just yet, because the plan is actually to get the wall breakers to... Um, bust up and get that other air defense if at all possible. Uh, the queen eventually does reroute and come back to that air defense. Uh, so we'll we'll just watch this a little bit. Um, eventually he's going to get this king down. Once he knows that the king can't take damage, there we go. Uh, king is going to start doing a little bit of cleanup here. Um, rage on that queen, and the king starts taking heat from the eagle artillery. Finally gets the CC pulled. Uh, when, you're, when you're bringing drags, it's actually not that big of a deal to get this CC pulled, um, but he does wind up killing the CC with his queen. And if you look right now, 32% um, of the base has been cleared out, and, and by the end of this, the, the queen, all on her own, does about 40% of the base. It's pretty impressive. Uh, down come the dragons with a max hound in the CC, and that's to tank for that single AD up there. Uh, there the queen finally goes and gets those, uh, that, that sweeper, which is, is what he was kind of pushing for, I believe. Um, drags are in there, uh, rages up the dragons, and they then push straight to that town hall very quickly. Um, he's wall broken in so that the queen has access to that town hall as well. Um, 
At this point, he's sitting at almost 60%, 59%, and that goes down. So he's got the two-star easy, and for such a high-level base, I mean, this is a, a great percent to have on this type of base for a Town Hall 10. Oftentimes, we're seeing, you know, 50, 51, 52%. We're just barely eking out the star. So to get almost 70% on a Town Hall 11 with a Town Hall 10 and, and get both of those stars is huge. Uh, at any rate, um, great attack, very nicely done to you. And uh, hopefully we can start seeing more of these from our Town Hall 10s as we move forward. Um, all right, next we are going to look at uh, Trumpy. So Trumpy is a Town Hall 11, um, and he hit a Town Hall 10, number 8. Um, I've been saying for the past few videos that uh, these Town Hall 10 or Town Hall 11 versus Town Hall 10 attacks are, are no longer the gimmies that they used to be. This is very interesting. If you look down here, 15 bowlers, uh, 10 um, witches. And so uh, I've said in the past, at least at Town Hall 11 on Town Hall 10s, witches are, are effective again. He starts by uh, using those, um, those archers very effectively, and then four drops uh, all of the... Uh, all of those bowlers and witches at the same time with a golem in the CC to tank um, gets that gets a, a lot of witches and skellies just pouring in there. And so the benefit here is um, when you've got Inferno set on multi, um, those skellies tend to occupy the Infernos and allow those bowlers and that queen to do a lot of work in there. And so that's exactly what's going on here, right? That golem is actually still alive, hasn't even popped yet, and has made it all the way to the back end of the base. Um, lots of uh, lots of skelly still going. Uh, has not even used the queen's uh, ability yet, and so you can see um, the the damage, the, the 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 push that you're able to get with all of those skellies. Uh, really kind of neutralizes, or, or helps to neutralize at least, the um, effects of those multi-inferno towers. But as we, we push on here, uh, still yet to use the queen's ability. Um, still lots of skellies going. Um, a couple of witches over there. What do we have? Three witches on that side. Uh, one witch in the center. So started with ten witches. He's got almost half of them left. Uh, not quite, I guess, four out of five. Or but um, that's it. Last point defense down. Um, tons and tons of skellies to clean up here. And just one building left. And that is it. Tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Trumpy. All right. Uh, that's it for the, for, the high, the, for the big dog attacks. Let's push down and let's have a look at some of the Town Hall 9 attacks. Uh, the first one that we're going to look at was by Paragon Hunter. He did two different dragon attacks. Um, I, I, I've, I've shown this a few different times. I chose this one because we've got one expo up here that's on air, and in his other one, both of the expos were on ground. But, so he quakes, zap quakes uh, two ADs right off the bat, and he's got one air defense that he can get with a queen, and he knows that. Um, so he's pushing in here, queen starts working on that air defense, and the final fourth air defense gets taken out up here with the um, Max Lava Hound in the CC. Uh, he brought, I believe in this attack, it was, attack it was nine uh, dragons. Um, at any rate, this is going to pop here soon. And it's very nice that that Lava Hound initially tanks for the AD and then tanks quite a bit for that um, uh, Expo that's on air. And once that Expo is down, there is only a few defenses left that are going to target dragons. Uh, only one in the top portion of the base up here. You've got a Tesla farm down here, and that's a little bit dangerous. Uh, he's, he does wind up pushing through there with uh, as these other dragons work their way down. The dragons that are down there now obviously are not going to make it. We'll speed it up just a little bit. <laughs> one thing I hate about dragon attacks is they can be so slow. But... Uh, what has he got? Five or six drags alive still down there. So um, easily they push through this. Uh, it's a little bit hairy here because of all of these high HP buildings that these dragons have to push through. But only one point defense is hitting them, and dragons have very high HP themselves. Finally, get that Tesla. Uh, get to that uh, final whiz tower. 
Um, and eventually, with all of these dragons on this uh, high HP building, they burn through it like it's nothing, and that's it. Looks like four drags left. So, uh, nice job, Paragon. Uh, tree stars in the bag. Good job, buddy. All right, who do we have next? We are going to look at Rocky. I haven't showed one of these in a while. So, uh, Rocky had um, a six-pack this war, uh, as, did, as did Paragon, I should point out. Um, Rocky looked at this base, and, and he's, he's, I think, about the only guy in the clan that is continuing to do this, but I see him uh, triple with an HGHB almost every war. Not quite every war, but almost every war. And he seems to, to know exactly what kind of base he needs to find in order to do this. Um, so let's, we'll speed this up just a little bit. Giants are down. CC has not come out yet. And the queen, he was just outside of the target of the queen as he was pushing in. Um, slow this down a little bit so we can see what's going on in here. Uh, bowlers are in there under rage. Um, the uh, healers are under rage. And, and it's just doing what HGHB does, right? Just pushing through this base. Uh, still has hogs in the back end. Sends in up here one giant to tank. Notice he had three giants to, or 13 giants to start with and only sent in 12 initially. Um, and so that giant tanks those uh, early point defenses and hogs are down. He's only used half of his hogs at this point. Um, healed up there. And as, as I was watching this, I was a little bit concerned because I was thinking, uh, come on, drop that last heal. Your hogs are just getting eaten alive. He does not drop this last heal. He does lose every one of his hogs. Um, but uh, enough defenses here, I mean, enough uh, troops here to finish off these last three point defenses. His queen is down there. Um, I, I don't know if he didn't realize he had a heal or if he really just didn't want to use it, but uh, still has his queen's ability. There he finally pops it, and that's it. It is clean up. Uh, up there, you can see he has got every one of his bowlers are still alive. None of them took hit a, hit a spring. None of them took uh, any significant damage enough to get uh, knocked out of the out of the raid. So, great job, uh, tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Rocky. Okay, next we are going to have a look at uh, blonde. So I blonde. Is, is coming in with maybe my favorite attack. It's a Bolalo, or at least one of my favorite attacks right now. And so we'll speed it up just a little bit here. Uh, golems are coming in. Notice, with I, I'm showing this Bolalo because both of the um, bows are on air, and I like to, to show this when, because I think people get a little bit worried about this um, uh, Bolalos when, when Expos are on air, but you can see here, if you can get them with the Kill Squad, and I've said this in past videos, if you can get them with the Kill Squad, you don't have anything to worry about. Um, she starts sending in a Hound over here. Kill Squad is still doing work. Um, that Hound eventually is going to pop really quickly. Uh, another Hound comes in, and she starts working around. Now, here's the scary part. That Queen is still alive, and... Her queen is stuck down here in a compartment, and nothing up here is going to do anything to stop that queen. So, uh, Hound comes in. It is going to pop here fairly quickly. Queen is shooting at it. Uh, AD was shooting at it, and unfortunately, the AD had taken a little bit of damage from the, from the kill squad, but now the queen uh, locks on to the golems down here, and instead of picking off all of the balloons, which she could have been doing. Uh, she spends a lot of time uh, on, the, on that golem. She does eventually start targeting the loons, um, but Blonde's Queen works its way up, works her way up there, and finally decides, okay, I've had enough. Uh, takes out the enemy queen. There's only two buildings left. That is it. Tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Blonde. Okay, next we are going to look at um, number 20 by Censored. So Censored is coming in here on Lil Mac, and Lil Mac is a former uh, Invicta member, actually. 
Um, he's bounced around a little bit. And we've seen him in a couple of different wars, and, and he's over there in PC now. Um, so uh, we're doing, again, maybe uh, one of my other favorite attacks, which is the Stoned Hobo. Um, so puts a Golem on each of the, those two defenses that are outside of the wall. And we'll speed it up here a little bit, just clearing some trash. Finally, wall breaks in. Notice he gives himself a very nice path for everything to follow in and, and get deep into the base. Um, it's a little bit worrisome because the biggest threat to bowlers are um, loons. Loons in the CC will, will destroy bowlers so quick, and that's exactly what happened here. Not a single bowler left because of those loons. However... Uh, all of his hogs left. So he starts bringing in hogs. Um, and you can see that uh, he brought in a lot of hogs right off the bat and unfortunately lost quite a few to the um, springs. But most of, the, most of these defenses have been taken out already. A lot of them were sitting outside of the base, which made it easy to get those defenses cleared out. Um, although he lost a lot of hogs initially, he is able to pull off this uh, pull off this three star with uh, just four hogs to finish with. Uh, they're actually I think every one of these hogs gets killed by this um, BK here. Uh, yep, um, wizards and queen is what are going to finish up this raid. But we'll so we'll speed it up here just a little bit. Uh, it doesn't matter. That is three stars in the bag. Nice job, censored. Okay, uh, let's have a look at number 21 and Cass. I get Buckets, um, has both a, a, a clan over in uh, CU, and he's currently trying out with his other t Town Hall 9 in uh, Swarm. So it was interesting uh, to have a, a guy in Swarm who was um, going up against Invicta in this war, and he, he had a, he had a pretty, pretty good showing as well. Um, so, uh, Cass comes in here with a queen walk right off the bat, and you can see, based on the army comp, what's going on here. Uh, this is the, the queen charge um, with uh, baby dragons. Uh, eventually, he's going to quake out uh, a portion of this base so that he can get in and get to all four of those air defenses. We'll speed it up just a little bit here. Uh, he's taking a, taking a lot of time to get this CC done. Uh, but there it goes. Um, the queen is gone. That first air defense is now gone. Uh, took a little bit to get it down. He's got a king up there uh, that's doing some work, trying to set a funnel. And baby dragons are now starting to clean up the sides of this. Um, he wall breaks in here. Very nice wall break. Had to wait for that uh, edge to get set. Um, with this with this big compartment here, but then, whoops, quakes out, sends in his uh, his um, bowlers, just has that one air defense left, and this is actually a bit of a scary moment. But he does have two baby dragons left, and th three, four baby dragons that are up yet. The queen has got to beat through this wall before those baby dragons get over to that air defense and get eaten up. She's almost through, and as soon as she is, that's the first thing that she's going to go after. There it goes. Black bombs on baby dragons, air defenses on baby dragons, and he drops the one baby dragon that he has left. Uh, that baby dragon is going to finish off this raid for him, and that is tree stars in the bag. Nice job, Cass. All right, um, and we had one more that we were going to look at. Let's scroll down here to, there we go, HB. HB had a six pack this war, um, had, a, had a very nice war, and this was another Bolalo, and I just thought it was a, a, a very nice uh, attack, so let's, Go ahead and speed this up a little bit. She starts by setting a funnel with all of the air stuff here. This Everything was out of reach, uh, with the exception of stuff with bombs. And so um, she starts setting this funnel early on, then brings in the golems. 
wall breaks in and it's it, it's basically a perfect almost a perfect funnel to get the um, all of those bowlers pushed in one decides to go outside as so often happens um, but two jumps down right off the bat and so often you don't see this with two jumps you see it with two rages a heel um, and a jump uh, she knows that she has got to push very very deep here with this uh, kill squad because she needs to be able to get to that enemy queen who is all the way across the base um, does a great job here winds up getting uh, three air defenses that last air defense then she tanks all the way across here and we'll speed it up just a little bit uh, this is such a nice t attack everything goes straight to these defenses um, still has both hounds have not popped um, and they wind up coming in right at this um, uh, Tesla farm and it is GG. I mean, just too much power. Both hounds do wind up popping at the end, and that is it. Very nice job, HB. And that is Tree Stars in the Bag. All right, guys, that is it. Um, not the outcome that we would have hoped for, but props to you guys over there. Overcame um, a, a disadvantage and... Um, with your 10 and 11 game really really showed us uh, a thing or two um, hopefully we're able to uh, meet you guys uh, sometime again in the future and, and uh, try this thing over on a, on an even playing field <laughs> um, though you guys gave us a run for our money when you guys had the disadvantage at any rate uh, this is Dr. D signing off just clash hard